She's attacking a caiman. Increíble. I don't see them anymore. Does the jaguar always win? Most of the time. But you never know. <gasps> there! Oh, now that was a never seen moment. I think that happens every day somewhere down here. Yeah, but I never saw it. Me neither. You rarely see the jaguar hunt, even though they hunt just about everything in the forest. Spider monkeys, tapirs, peccaries, anteaters, sloths, armadillo. They'll sneak up on just about every creature they can catch. Hey, guys, she's sneaking away from us. Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking, brother? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. You thinking what I'm thinking? I don't think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I know I'm thinking what I think we're thinking. I think? You mind telling us what you're thinking? Cubs! They really were thinking the same thing. She must have a cub in there, because that is the only time a jaguar ever goes to a den. Otherwise, jaguars will just sleep anywhere in the forest. The only adult jaguar that ends up is a mother with a cub. We've got to get in there and have a look. Let's sneak in miniaturized. You're like baby monkeys. <laughs> well, you look a lot easier for a jaguar to eat. Thanks. Ah. Ah. Yes, we were right. <gasps> a mom and a cub in the shadows. The cub is nursing. We've got to see this. Mm, but we can't shine a light on them, can we? Well, we could, but she might not like it. Or she might not mind. Let's consider it a scientific experiment and find out. I'm good with that. Woo, she's not bothered at all. Uh, but I am. You are? Why? The jaguar didn't even eat us. Yeah, but I still can't see the cub. I want to see the cub. Yeah, me too. But we can't turn up the light, can we? Well, we could, but she might not like it. Or she might not mind. Let's consider it a scientific experiment and find out. I'm good with that. <gasps> a black jaguar. He wasn't sitting in the shadows. He is a shadow. And that's what I'm going to name him. Shadow. Oh, I don't believe it. Shadow Cats to Den Mother. Come in, Den Mother. Shadow Cats here. Get ready for a never before seen moment. What is it? The first emergence of a black jaguar kitten from the den. Oh, que lindo. Aww. Whoa, and check it out. Shadow has the same spot pattern as other jaguars. It's just that all the fur is black. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, um, Martin? So what do you do when you're face to face with a venomous rattlesnake with three centimeter fangs that can strike in the blink of an eye and is attracted to movement? Don't move, bro. <sighs> Whew! Now that was a close-up look at one awesome snake. Oh, <laughs> you can say that again. How about that rattle? It's made of special loose scales that rub up against each other to make that rattling sound. And it's that rattle that makes the rattlesnake the most polite snake. Polite? How is a rattlesnake polite? Well, he always rattles you a friendly warning before he strikes and sinks his venom-injecting <laughs> fangs into your arm. <laughs> or your face. And you know, when I was face to face with this guy, I had a real close look at how his face is packed with incredible sensory powers. Sharp eyes that can see well in the daylight. 
nostrils that have a good sense of smell, and a tongue that flicks in and out tasting the air, making that good sense of smell great. Plus, there's another sense that, huh? What was that? Oh, he seems to know and wants to get closer to it. But if we can't see it, how can he? <gasps> he must be using the other sensory organ, those pits right under his nostrils. Those pits that sense the body heat of animals. Those pits that give the rattlesnake the ability to see heat and find his prey. Like a ground squirrel. <laughs> he knew that's what it was because a rattlesnake can see heat. And so can we with our heat vision goggles. Nice. Turning on. Hi, Chris, do you see me? Oh yeah, Martin, you're waving? Okay, then now what am I doing? You just jumped into a ninja pose. <laughs> okay, my turn. Turning on. Huh? Oops, I think I have these goggles on upside down. Nope, they're on right. I'm doing a handstand. Now what am I doing? You're walking like an Egyptian. You got it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. Huh? They went in there. I know. Let's get around to underground the way a rattlesnake does, by going through the ground squirrel tunnels. We don't even have to dig. I bet those tunnels will lead us right to some tellurium somewhere down there. We can see with our heat vision goggles. Miniaturization, anyone? Whoa! Okay, a Gila monster is nobody to be scared of. For starters, a Gila monster spends 95% of his life just resting in the entrance of a burrow. And you are just about the luckiest kid in the Sonoran Desert, because this Gila monster has chosen your porch as his burrow. I don't want a Gila monster under my porch. Uh, okay, how about this? Gila monsters are one of the few venomous species of lizards in the world with a poisonous bite, but their venomous bite is a defensive bite. Gila monsters just like to hang out and be left alone. Nah. I'm telling you, Javier, Gila monsters are so cool. I don't want a Gila monster under my porch. Oh, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. I know. He is a big lizard. And to a little kid like Javier, he must look scary. But if we were littler than him, and we weren't scared, then maybe he wouldn't be scared either. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? I think so. The miniaturizer? You got it, buddy. And we're gonna get mini size and go onto your porch and prove to you that humans don't need to be afraid of Gila monsters. All right, let's go visit a Gila monster. Be careful. You said he's got a venomous bite. He doesn't want to bite anyone. He just wants to be left alone asleep in his burrow. Wow, look at that color. Most Gila monsters are orangey peach and black, swirled together into really cool patterns. And that color is a bright warning, letting other animals know that this Gila monster has a toxic bite, so they don't mess with him. <gasps> Uh-oh, a bobcat. The Gila monster's sleeping. Wildcat can take advantage of that. Wake up. Wake up! Whoa, Gila monster held him off! Cool! The Gila monster is a creature who makes peach a tough color. Ew! What kind of monster is peach color? I'll just paint my Gila monsters to be more red and tough looking. That's better. So you see, a Gila monster can be tough and does have a venomous bite, but having one under your house is nothing to worry about. Yeah. I guess I am kind of lucky. No, I'm really lucky. You've led me to my next big thing, Zach's Gila Monster Wrenches. Now I just need the Gila Monsters to power them. Hmm, but I'll leave that one to distract the brothers. You, get out there, Zachbot. Collect all the Gila Monster lizards you can find. <laughs> See, Javier, 
He just likes to have his peace and quiet. Yeah, he's pretty cool. This trail goes all over the place. It's like they were taking the long way to town or something. Whoa, a burrowing owl! Oh, he got a collared lizard. These burrowing owls are masters at catching insects, lizards, small mammals, and... Hey, that's pretty amazing. Nothing like a cool creature distraction as we follow the seed trail. Hey, get back here with that seed. Don't you mess up our trail. Stop, thief! Hmm, what's all this stuff at his doorstep? Shells, feathers, seeds, ooh, even mammal dung. A beetle! Amazing! You owls don't only hunt, you attract food right to your doorstep. These beetles eat dung, and they like to live and hide under all kinds of things. So the beetles come here thinking, oh, it's a great place to be, and then you owls gobble them up. Hey, but just don't take those seeds, okay? We need that seed trail to follow our friends. Guys, did you look at the sun? No, what? Huh? It's going down. That means it'll be dark in just a few minutes. Too dark to see the trail. Too, Too dark, dark to, to find Koki and Jimmy. Hurry! We're too late. I can't see anything now. Martin, look. It's Elphis. Elphis! Hey, someone's having no trouble seeing. Are you kidding? He could probably see us a kilometer away with those eyes. Those eyes! Owl eyes! Owls are the masters of the night. With incredible night vision and excellent hearing. Owl power can help us save Koki and Jimmy. The answer was right under our noses the whole time. Aviva, come in. I'm already on it, guys. Having a look at owl sensory feature number two now, hearing. When a sound comes in, the big, round, disc-shaped face of the owl works like a huge satellite dish, collecting as much of the sound as possible. Wow! And not only that, owl ears are hidden under their feathers. But one ear is way down here, and one ear is way up here. That helps the owl pinpoint exactly where the sound is coming from. Amazing. If you can get those features in a suit, They'll really help us track down Koki and Jimmy Z. Okay, but whatever you do, don't lose Elphis. We need his help with the transformation. Don't worry, we've got that covered. We're sticking with you, pal. We need your help tonight. Do you hear something? See something? I bet those ears and eyes are in full hunt mode right now. I don't hear or see a thing. But an owl can hear an insect skittling in leaf litter from 23 meters away. Martin, he's heading your way. Wait up, buddy. What, you heard something way over there? Incredible. You knew that scorpion was hiding there from way over in that tree. Hello? There's got to be an antidote somewhere. <gasps> A rattlesnake. Easy, buddy. Hey, a rattlesnake doesn't really want to strike. That's why he gives that rattle warning. Uh, well, I don't want to stick around to find out. Hey, it's P.U. Remember me, buddy? Uh, I think he's too busy to chat. Whoa, spotted skunks don't only have a good defense, they have a good offense, too. These skunks will sometimes kill and eat snakes. And scientists think they may even be immune to rattlesnake venom. He's not only cute, but tough, too. Cute, tough, and stinky. What a combo. That little guy's been helping us all day. Thank you very much, Mr. P.U. Skunk. <laughs>